you and I are gonna talk. You don't account for my preferences, Mr. Bowen? I will beat you here in the street. That right there, fantastic. And I want more of it. viewers scream gay right back into another legends of the west video and our winning request today is from kyle jones for her seth bullock from deadwood yet another series i need to add to my watch list also a quick personal shout out to uh kis7 over on uh the red dead fashion reddit because actually he's the one that came up with what you're looking at right now and the guy did such great work i couldn't help it Give him a shout out and show it off a little bit. I, I gotta say, I I should probably actually be a come part of that Reddit. That all said, let's go ahead and break down this outfit piece by piece, and I'm gonna throw in some other suggestions as Seth changes this outfit quite a bit. Bits and pieces here and there, but it does change up, thankfully. So, of course, as always, as usual, let's go ahead and start off with the hat. I gotta say, Kiss freaking nailed the hat just about better than I think I could find. I can't find anything better than this Cavalier hat. And it's almost bluish gray with a nearly golden band. I gotta say, this sells it. I mean, it doesn't have the pinch of the actual hat. It doesn't have that, that uh, little dip in the top, but general shape, brim, color, spot the hell on. My god, maybe I should hire the man. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't make anywhere near enough money on YouTube to be hiring anybody. Who am I kidding? The hat won't change throughout the outfits, I promise. For coats, uh, classic frock coat in black. Yeah. Now, this actually is part of a particular outfit that you can only find at Wallace Station. Thank you, God, for quick information notes. Again, from the Reddit. Dear sweet lord, everyone should just check out that Reddit. That they have amazing stuff on there. And again, that won't be changed. I, I'm not touching that part of this outfit. Those two things are going to stay the same. Here are the things that are going to change up, though. The vest. What Kiss set up is the classic vest in this kind of pale green color. And I, I get what it's going for. It works. I'm personally not a fan of it. Another great suggestion I personally would throw out is this one with the pinstripes. As at one point, he does change out the vest and his shirt. Which will be showing off in a mo. For shirts, the French dress shirt in white. Or, if you would prefer, the French dress shirt default. As at one point he does change his shirt out where it has kind of a white fringe, but it's blue everywhere else. It's strange. I never thought this was an actual design. And what do I know? I learned from Elliot Noir that apparently people used to wear pink all the time. Like, all the time. Everybody did. It was a power color. It was weird. For pants, we have the fancy dress pants. It's a gray checkered design. I'm not a fan of this, actually. I mean, it works for the look and the outfit, but I'm personally not a fan of this. I, I don't know why. It bothers me. That said, my suggestion with the town pants, uh... And kind of similar design, just striped. I... Honestly, not that much better. It really isn't. But it's either that or go dark enough to where it matches the coat, which throws off the entire thing. There's a contrast there, I can see. Yeah. So kind of dealer's choice on that. That's really all I got for that, thankfully. Suspenders, chaps, don't matter. We're not going to see them for a boot. This is the one spot in the entire outfit that is actually worn enough to be the worn roper boots. Black, gray, as long as it's a darker color, probably not just the flat black though. That looks... looks more like mold. Yeah, it looks like mold. We're not going to do that. Just gray, darker, black. It just really works. No spurs of this outfit. Mask, bandanas, doesn't matter. Not wearing it. For the neckwear, we have the ascot tie. He does change this around enough to where I could probably say you can maybe BS the dress tie in some colors. 
but for the original look, we're going with the Ascot tie. And if you're curious as to where to find this particular color, where it has this black and white design on it, this is actually found from another outfit you find in the Blackwater tailor shop. Since people yell at me when I don't remember where I get things. I'm wearing gloves, so it doesn't matter. Weapon equipment, eh, personal suggestion. I say the upgraded stuff. Yeah. I'm just gonna, gonna. I'm blind apparently. I can't find the upgraded. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say the upgraded stuff really works. Not bad outfit. I dig it. I'm not a fan of the hat. Probably because I actually own a <laughs> actual expensive made in Wyoming Western hat that uh, I'm way too proud of to wear anywhere. <laughs> that all said, as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And again, big thank you to Kiss7 over on the Reddit for posting his work here and hopefully not getting mad at me that I kind of stole it for the beginning of this video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm. I <laughs> I try desperately not to immediately go to, ooh, look at that, there's Red Dead Redemption stuff there, because then I feel like an asshole, because I'm basically ripping off someone else's work. Uh, but when I do, I do at least give credit. But that all said, once again, thank you all for watching. For the love of God, please check the description below for guidelines on how to shoot your own request in the comments section and how the voting process works. I've mentioned that in the last couple of videos, that's my bad. Please, for the love of God, just do that for me. <laughs> I've had you guys throwing requests at me in everything but Legends of the West lately, and it's driving me a tad bit batty. <laughs> I love y'all, but you drive me nuts. Once again, thank y'all for watching, though. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then. I'm gonna go get to sleep now. I've had a rough day.